gonna go this way where it looks like there's probably a gold sink which would just be in a pool like this. I am on a quest for gold. Since NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has a microscopic layer on the mirrors, I want to know, where does gold really come from? Now, California is known for gold. It flows through the rivers, is embedded in the mountains. But is this really where gold originates? I know. This is a terrible example of what gold panning looks like. But at this point, I had already driven all the way to the San Gabriel Mountains, only to find that it is illegal to pan for gold because it is now a national monument. But it would just be our luck that we ran into Bill Schuster, whose family owns property for a really long time in the mountains, and he really showed me how to properly pan for gold. See, the first thing you gotta know, you're gonna get wet. So don't worry about getting wet. <laughs> Gold is so heavy, the ripples will catch it. Most people are so scared that they're gonna lose gold, and believe me, it will not go out. I already see two pieces, two big pieces. Any more angle, there you go. So gold is incredibly rare. We can take all of the gold that we've ever mined or panned and stick it in three Olympic sized pools. And the reason that gold is so rare is because it isn't even from Earth. It is extraterrestrial. As it turns out, finding gold's cosmic origins is a topic of hot debate. So I needed an expert to help me understand. And luckily, Mansi was in the area. Do you like to wear gold? Yeah, yeah. in fact, I actually got this gold <laughs> ring in India myself. Gold is one of the heaviest elements in the periodic table. In fact, if you peeked into its nucleus, it would be filled with 197 neutrons and protons. And until a few years ago, we had no idea where gold is made in the universe. Scientists debated what energetic event could make heavy elements. Is the power of a supernova enough? Or does it need more? That turns out to be very difficult to synthesize in any ordinary cosmic explosion. You need a very special explosion that can actually synthesize heavy elements like gold by our process. Now the R process is one of the ways to make heavy elements like gold. It is another way to say rapid neutron capture process and it happens in the matter of a couple of seconds. On August 17, 2017, when the two neutron stars merged, that's when we saw the hallmark infrared signature for the very first time. Now this neutron star merger was and is still a big deal. It's the only time scientists have witnessed and measured the R process in action. And up until then, it was all theoretical. Let's begin with two neutron stars spiraling towards each other and then merging to give birth to a black hole. This is where we think we saw for the very first time the gold being synthesized. You have an abundant supply of free neutrons. So when these neutrons are flying out, they are able to bind to each other, join together and undergo rapid capture. And this rapid capture gives you a, a slew of heavy elements all the way up to gold. What I learned is that like all heavy elements on Earth, gold has been here since Earth was formed. It was floating around in the gas and dust that formed our sun and all the planets in our solar system. But gold is heavy. Much of what we find comes up through many veins running through our crust. That's why we often find gold alongside rivers and volcanoes. But what is even more poetic, we are using an element forged in the death of stars to investigate the dawn of our universe. <laughs>